Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a haul for you. This is things that I picked up. Um, I've ordered from Ulta and Sephora, so it's going to be a little bit of a mix um, over the last couple weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, these are the things I've got from Sephora. And this is the new Kat Von D palette. And it is Septina. And it is very, very pretty. Um, she's got a lot of different types of shades in here. Um, most of them are very intense. There's a lot of reds, um, oranges, blues, purples, greens, all kinds of different pretty shades. There's also, I really like this that it's in here. Um, there is, there's also a pigment in this palette, which is very neat and a little bit different than normal. Um, so this palette is very, very pretty. They're very pigmented. Um, what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Um, they're very creamy, very easy to blend. Um, I will pick this blue shade. I'll show you guys how it eh, swatches. As you can see there, it's very, very pigmented. Um, if you want me to do a swatch of all of these shades, let me know out of this palette. But there's the swatch of just the blue. So it is definitely one of my favorite shades out of that palette. Then the next thing I ordered from Sephora is this Makeup Forever palette. Um, I've had my eye on it for a while. It was in my favorites, just something I could kind of watch. But it went on sale, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Um, but it is the Makeup Forever Artiste Shadow 2 palette. Um, there are two more that I also have saved, um, so I'm kind of just waiting to see if they'll go on sale, and then maybe I'll get those as well. But the colors in this are very, very pretty. Um, you have kind of a neutral line here. Then you have your blues and your pinks to purple. Um, but I really like this palette. This is another one that is also very pigmented. I have not got to use any of these shades yet, um, but I'll pick the most colorful one out of this here. And you can see that pink. And I will swatch it. And here is the pink swatch. I don't know if you can see that because of the light is so bright. Should have picked another color. Hang on. Let me pick the dark purple. But here is the dark purple swatch from that palette there. The other thing I got from Sephora, which I am absolutely in love with, um, is the Cara Gone um, Cinnamon Penta Berry Naked um lip whip this is be kind to your skin and this is buttery soft skinny rich and thick handmade in seattle um this is absolutely amazing it is very very like creamy and whipped um i apply it at night to my lips and wake up the next morning and usually if i put on just like Carmex or whatever, when I wake up the next morning, my lips still feel very dry. I'm constantly applying chapstick throughout the day. I have it in my car, at work, in my purse, next to my bed, next to the TV, everywhere I have chapstick. Um, this, I woke up the next morning and I did not feel like I needed to apply chapstick. My lips were still very creamy and moist from the night before. So I am loving this. Um, I have been applying it underneath like lipsticks and it's lasting a very long time throughout the day. I don't have to keep reapplying. So I am definitely really, really liking this product. Um, and it was only about $12, which is a little bit more than I would normally pay for like I think a tube of chapstick. Normally it's like $2 at the drugstore. Um, but the fact that this is lasting me probably almost half the day without having to reapply or almost all day because it lasts at least like 12 hours um, throughout the night. That is absolutely amazing to me so it'll probably last a lot longer um, but I really like this product. Then everything else in here I purchased from Ulta. A lot of these though you can get from Sephora too. I just ordered them because I had 20% off at Ulta. Um, my first item here, let me grab the actual product because I've taken that out of the box, is um, the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I had a sample of this that I got, I believe, from an Ipsy 
bag and I have fallen in love with this mascara. I use it every day. Um, it's all I ever grab for anymore. I don't like it for the bottom lash line as much just because the brush is so large and it seems harder to apply. So I feel like I'm... But this is my favorite mascara and um, you can apply two or three coats and it doesn't clump whatsoever. Um, it is around $22 but I don't feel that that's bad whenever I can get this much use and product out of it um, and that I don't have any issues with it and that I love it that much. The next item that I got from Ulta is the NYX um, Glitter Primer. This product's around $4, so it is a lot cheaper. Um, I would consider it obviously drugstore, but I really do like this product. Um, it is super, super sticky, and I use it for almost any eyeshadow that has any type of um, type of glitter or shimmer to it. It doesn't have to just be glitter. Um, any type of pigment or anything like that, this eyeshadow primer is um, absolutely amazing for. Um, then I received some Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow um, eyeshadows, and I have them, some of them in my Z palette. Um, I got these three right here. This first one here is the shade Metal. This one here is just a very, like, um, looks like metal. It's silver, but it's very, very pretty. Um, and it's just very shiny, um, and I really do like it. These are all very, very pigmented. Um, the next shade that I received is um, Sangria. This one is just a very rich red color. Um, it is more of a matte shade. I don't see any shimmer to this one whatsoever. Then the next shade um, is Emerald, and this one is just a very pretty green shade. Um, this one is also matte. I don't see any shimmer in it either. Then the next one for I have in this little eyeshadow thing that I received with the purchase for free. Um, these I have the peach sort. Then I have these four right here. This is in the shade orange soda. Peach sorbet is a makeup geek that is a dupe for this one. Um, but. This is a very, just kind of an orangey, but it's very light shade. I like using it um, as like a transition shade in the crease area. It's very, very pretty though, and very simple. Um, then here I have Sienna, and it is just a very reddish brown. It's a very warm shade. It's very beautiful in the crease area as well. Then here we have Henna. This one is a very red shade, but it has a lot of shimmer to it. Um, it is very, very beautiful. This is definitely a shade I would put the NYX glitter glue or glitter primer underneath. Um, and I really love that shade as well. And then here we have a very beautiful gold shimmer, and this is peach sorbet. But there is one. There is a Makeup Geek one for this, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's close to this. Um, maybe it's peach soda. I think is what that one is. And this is Peach Sorbet here. It is a very, very shimmery, peachy color. It's very beautiful as a um, lint shade. Then I received, this is the last thing, another palette. I've been buying a lot of eyeshadows lately. I have a lot of them, but you know, I just keep getting more. There's been a lot of good palettes coming out lately. The Too Faced Totally Cute palette, and it is super, super cute. I love the shades in it. You have your shades here that are good for the crease like um, transition shades or setting underneath like your brow highlights um, then you have some really kind of fun shades over here you have like the orange bunny foo foo and then a blue shade here which is storm cloud and then a really pretty green here um, but you just have a lot of different shades out of this palette um, and they're very, very pigmented, very creamy, and easy to blend. I've done an eyeshadow tutorial using this palette if you want to check that one out. Um, it was a few weeks ago, so it's not too long ago. But these, all of these eyeshadow palettes that I received or eyeshadow colors are definitely some of my top 
favorites recently. Um, they're all extremely creamy, very easy to blend, very pigmented. So I will give them all probably on a top 10 list for sure. Um, I'm very impressed with all of the ones that I purchased. I'm not upset with any of them. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.